Hey guys, I wanted to come on and show you how to use Pick Me app. Um, just kind of jumped into my head because I was talking about it and used it for the raffle that I had this morning. And I think it could be super helpful if you are doing distance learning and you're doing your Google Meets conversations or your Zoom conversations because it randomizes the students and then it could allow you to like pick who can talk next or whatever it is. I personally haven't gotten a chance to do those conversations with my students because our district is not utilizing Zoom and um, like Google Meets and things like that. But I do really love this app for my classroom use and so I want to share it for you with you for that way but also you could utilize it in this other way as well. So. The app is called Pick Me. Okay. Excuse my unmanicured fingernails. Do you see it? Pick Me with the green box. Okay. When you click on it, um, you can create a class. So you're going to click this check up here and you're going to add a class. So, like, you could add a class for every um, you know, for every year, whatever it is. I recommend doing it, just making like a generic class. And what you could do is put in your kids' class numbers. I know I number my kids in alphabetical order. Um, so you could just say like class 2020. Okay. And then when you go into your class, it's going to open up and you can add your students in. So you can add students and then you can do their first and last name or if you just want to do like a random one where it's just by their class number you could do like student one done add another student student two Oops. and so on and then it's going to show up let me keep doing that it's going to show up then with the students names okay then, some cool things you can do then, in order to do the randomizer and choose somebody, I made a, a funny class, there's just like ridiculous names in there, just like randomly that came to my head. You're going to have all the names on your app, and what you do is you shake it, and then a random name is going to pop up, Bryant Smith. Shake it, Abraham Lincoln, okay? So you could shake it, and then like if you're on the Google Meets or whatever it is, you could then show the people like, all right, Justin Timberlake, you can talk now. Um, and so I utilize it in my classroom when like I'm picking on students. Not picking on, but you know what I mean. If people, if I just want to do like a random, like who's paying attention or accountability in any way, I use it. And then I use my document camera, and I allow it to show the person's name or the class number or their picture, because you can also upload their pictures on here too, which is kind of cute. Um, so I utilize it for that way, but I think it could be really great for distance learning and for in-class learning. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to show you is in the app too, there's three dots on the top right. You can click it, and you can create groups with it as well. Um, and you can say like how many students... You want blank number of students and however many groups. So I want two students. And then based on your class size number, it'll tell you how many groups it could create. And then I'm going to click Create. And then it shows me my groups. It made a group one with Johnny Appleseed, Susie Smith, Palmer G, and Britney Spears. And then group two, Courtney Source, Justin Timberlake, Bryant Smith, Abraham Lincoln. So it can randomize groups for you as well. Now, another cool thing on there, too, is you can mark somebody absent for that day. So it will not accumulate in your names for that day. So that's really great as well. Um, and then it completely randomizes. Again, you shake it and you can pick it. Now, if you're comfortable with it, too, you could have your students do the shaking if they're up and then they want to call on somebody else. Shake it. Who's next? Um, but again, I think it could be used for when you're doing these online conversations, especially when all the kids obviously want to talk at one time, um, that you could utilize it to call on them with, with Google Meets and Zoom and all of that. So, hope you enjoy.